Cisco Umbrella Secure Web Gateway, Use Case, WSA Proxy Chain, External Network ID Based Policy. So we've already added a network ID of the NATed IP address of the WSA. Now we're gonna go ahead and build policy. So right out of the gate, we don't do anything different, but here we're gonna select that network, external network ID, and it's called the lab N2. We'll grab that, that's the identity that we're gonna leverage. We're gonna go ahead and enable HTTPS inspection. So this will allow us to do selective decryption. Um, maybe we'll do health and finance. I already created this group. It's easy enough to come in and add your categories to that group by adding new selective decryption um, element there. We'll go ahead and hit next. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new content security setting. And we'll go ahead and add new, we'll give it a name. And the goal here is, is that um, this is gonna be a more broad approach to policy because I'm gonna, everybody behind that WSA, whoever's going to that WSA is gonna fall under the same policy Decryption is going to be done in the cloud, which is pretty cool, but it's very broad, right? We don't have any IP based or user based attribution and um, but it may serve certain uh, use cases and therefore I'm showing it. We'll go ahead and continue to proceed here. We're going to add a new category for limiting content and we'll go ahead and uh, maybe select a couple groups. We'll grab uh, pornography, maybe um, proxy and anonymizers, park domains, P2P. There's the proxy and anonymizer down there. Let's grab that. Scrolling down. So you can see very um, comprehensive list of categories here. Gambling, that's easy to test illegal activities and downloads. Okay, so we'll go ahead and save this out. We'll go next. So we've got security categories, we've got content categories all built up with the SWG, right? Secure Web Gateway. For tenant controls, I'm not gonna do anything here. Application, again, I'm not gonna do anything here. You can have some destination lists, both blocking and allow. I'm gonna add threat grid malware analysis. And then here, maybe executables as an example. Just to give you an idea, I can block based on the executable itself, and then we'll use the default um, block page. And here, we'll give it a name. So you can see the identity is one network. That's an external network identity. We'll go ahead and hit save. And that'll save out. Um, and then once that does that that that's complete, um, we can go ahead now and move towards maybe maybe what we'll do here is move to the root certificate. We got to pull that down. If we're going to do um, decrypt, we're going to need to make sure that this root CA is. Uh, deployed to your client. So you can use group policy objects to deploy um, certificates to your users. So, so that'd be the easiest mechanism to do that. We'll go to activity search. We'll get that ready. Let's jump to the endpoint real quick. We've already got the certificate deployed. There's Google. Let's go ahead and check that certificate. We'll go ahead. It shows Google here, but we can see issued by umbrella. And if we show the path there, we can see umbrella root CA. Let's go ahead and try uh, RBC. Remember that was the one that was um, exempt from decryption. So let's look at that certificate. And this is a finance organization, right? A bank. And let's go ahead and try to go to a gambling site. And you can see that we've got a block page and it's blocked based on the category gambling. Let's go ahead and look at our activity search. And what we'll find here is, we'll just go ahead and search on blocked. We'll go ahead and apply it. And what we're gonna end up finding is that we are blocked, it's working as expected, but there's no attribution whatsoever. So let's go ahead and maybe clean this up a little bit. We'll grab gambling and I'll show you what I mean. So when we go ahead and hit apply, 
we scroll up, here's that uh, site. We see it's blocked, but there's no internal IP. I can't associate that block to a specific user or, or an IP address. And that would be the challenge. Again, if it's a bunch of kiosks at a retail site, perfect use case. Others, maybe not so much.